What is up, guys? Welcome to Behind the Curve Reacts to Firebringer Part 2. Um, part 1 was awesome. Part 1 was fantastic. Uh, it really shocked me by just how um, just how good the songs were, uh, which is fantastic. It's always funny. It's always great. It's Star Kid. You know, it's not, not going to be funny. But it's just very, very, very well done, and I am super excited to, uh, to get into Part 2. Um, so yeah, essentially they've just entered the Stone Age, thanks to, uh, Emma, uh, the guy who didn't like musicals, uh, which I must say is, it's still really weird, uh, for me seeing, I know I've, I've seen Charlotte Oregon, which she was also in, um, but it's just so weird seeing her, like, being all happy and singing and dancing in a musical just because the guy who didn't like musicals was, like, <clears throat> my introduction to Star Kid. So every time I see her, I'm like, oh yeah, she hates musicals. What's she doing? Oh dear God, the apotheosis took over. Um, <laughs> but other than that, though, no, it has been fantastic. Uh, Jamila, uh, the, the lead, Jafar's wife in Twisted, has been so good. She, she was so good in Twisted. Of course she was going to be so good in this. But it's so nice to see you. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, I've talked long enough. Let's get into part two. I'm, I'm really excited. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey, Chorn. Chorn. <laughs> that joke's pretty funny. Huh? Chorn. Okay, well, it was nice talking to you. Chorn. Emberly, I'm in love with Chorn, but it acts like I don't exist. Tiblin, I'm not even really sure that Chorn is into humans, you know? Chorn is sort of like, um... Sort of like a monster. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, how does that taste? Ugh, so gross. We could eat that. Okay. <laughs> and then there's Smelly Balls, and he's just such a great guy. Ugh, Tiblin, look, I know that you hold up the sky, and I really appreciate that about you, but sometimes you've just got to get your head out of the clouds and... <laughs> Stop thinking so much about romance. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, oh, he's an outsider. Oh, he's not from our tribe. Oh, oh, I'm gonna go get help. I'm gonna go get short. <laughs> Are you gonna eat that? I was thinking about it. Well, I'm starving. I'll kill you for it. <gasps> no. Come here! Oh, we do! Oh! 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 I'm I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, you smacked my butt hard. Uh, I was trying to kill you. Yeah, but my butt it's sticking so bad right now. It's only like a few leaves covering it, lady. That's like nothing. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't try to kill each other, you know? This is a pretty big thing. Let's just share it. Okay. <laughs> oh! Yuck! Spit that out, it's poison! What? Oh no! That's poison, it'll kill you! Spit it out! Oh, oh just, just, uh, uh, open your mouth and, and let it fall out! <sighs> How'd you know how to spit that out? That was pretty smart. I mean, I probably would have just kept eating it until I died. You, you saved my life. Don't worry about it, it's sort of my job. <laughs> See, I, I eat things and I tell if they're good or if they're poison. Mm -hmm. I'm Emberly. Em em what is it again? The Emberly. Embly. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, w w what was your name? Grunt. Grant? That's fine. <laughs> well, um, I'm sorry I reacted the way that I did. Uh, we're not supposed to be with people from other tribes. Oh, well, 
I don't have another tribe, it's just me. <laughs> just you? Just you? How could that be? Well, I, I had a tribe, but they kicked me out. Why? Uh, well, you know how sometimes there'll be a pack of coyotes that are feasting on a rabbit? And then there's always one small runt of a coyote that's being kept from the meal? Yes. I'm like the rabbit. <laughs> oh. So, so in your tribe, do you just walk around and eat everything? Oh, well, that's what I do. It's sort of my specialty. <laughs> uh, see, here's where I gather all of the foods that we like. And, um, you know, actually check this out. See, I started combining different foods to try and create new tastes. L like this. It, it looks like two big leaves stacked up on top of each other. Yeah. But inside, oh. it's a bunch of squished up berries mm. and a light sprinkling of salt. Mm. Mm. <laughs> uh, go ahead. Try it. That's pretty good. Yeah. Let's see, I, I, I can tell if things are good or not, even from just one little taste. Huh. Ain't it crazy how something that looks so weird to me could be so sweet? Ain't it crazy how something that looks so savory is bad for me? Ain't it crazy how something that once was scaring me could put me at ease and help me see it's not the outside of things that make them good, that make them bad, that make them anything. All you need is just, just a taste to start something good. Just a taste to know if I should Just a taste, it's all I need All that's good starts with just one taste Is it crazy to finally feel I'm where I am supposed to be? Is it crazy how something I thought I'd never find just came to me? Are we crazy? Or did we just taste something sweet? Not sure what to think, but you help me see It's not the outside of things That make them good, that make them bad That make them anything All you need is just Just a taste starts Oh, I 
I hope so too, Emberly. One less outsider means more food for us. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right, everyone. Gather round. <sighs> so, earlier today, some um, very important truths were revealed to me. <laughs> So it turns out our tribe has been living under some false pretenses, which have caused some of its members to, uh, ooh, how do I put this lightly? Um, waste their entire lives. Wow. <laughs> Huge slam on Emberly out of nowhere. Holy shit. <laughs> um, actually, Emberly does a job that's actually very, very important to our tribe. <laughs> But once we clear a few things up, we can all stop performing meaningless tasks and focus on real human progress. Progress pleases the duck. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Ducker. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad you brought up the duck. Uh -huh, yeah. So, you know how it created the universe? It created the universe. <laughs> how it watches over all of our immortal souls. Each and every one of our immortal souls. He is Lord. Oh, uh, Duck is Lord. He is Lord, Lord, Lord. Duck is Lord. Thank you, Ducker. Look he is Lord. Duck is Lord. He is Lord, Lord, Lord. Duck is Lord. Okay, all of that is a lie. Molag made it up. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. The duck isn't a god? No, he's not. But if the, if the duck isn't a god, then why does Ducker get to sleep in the one dry spot in the cave? Yeah! yeah. Well, uh, now that we don't have to believe in an all-powerful duck, and we don't need a <laughs> supreme egghead wizard to interpret its quacks, we can all take turns sleeping in the dry spot of the cave. Oh, oh, oh. Well, Ducker, you can sleep in a puddle like the rest of us. Wait, no! Wait, Ed. <laughs> now, 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 now. It has not yet been proven that the duck is not a god. In fact, all of this sounds like blasphemy to me. And the duck. In fact, the duck is saying right now, damn you, Jamila, to hell. Oh no, Jamila. <laughs> no. no. Molog also lied about Tiblin holding up the sky. Oh. What? What are you talking about? I've been holding up the sky for 27 years. I never get any sleep, and I'm always stressed out all the time, and I never hear a word of thanks from anyone. Well, first of all, thank you, Tiblin. Oh. Thank, thank you, Tiblin. Oh, really you. Great job. Thank you, really Tiblin. We really appreciate it. Okay. It's time to put your arms down now. No, I'm not going to do that. Because then the sky will fall and crush all of our friends. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to have that on my conscience. Okay, if I put Tiblin's arms down and nothing happens, that'll prove that I'm right, right? Jamila, if you put Tiblin's arms down and the sky doesn't fall, I will be the first to renounce my faith in the duck. But Jamila, you don't have the guts. Okay, oh, come here. No, 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 no. 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 All right, fine. If I can't have shorn, then no one will. <laughs> Take off that supreme egghead wizard hat now. Jamila. <laughs> this is a symbol of my privilege. Yeah. Yeah. But that's gone now. Take it off. Uh... 
Good. Good. Now take the duck out of it. Oh. <laughs> Jimmy, love, we should at least let the duck choose if it stays or... Oh, there it goes. Oh. 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 <laughs> yep. That is one happy duck. <sighs> well, now that we have all that cleared up, we can get back to work, right, gang? <laughs> I, I don't know, Jimmy. I mean, what's the point of hard work if we're not doing it to please a duck? Oh, come on. <laughs> Hard work is its own reward, right, guys? Hey, Jamila. Yes? Oh, oh fuck my fucking leg! Oh, fuck! Oh. Behold, I have inflicted great pain upon Jamila, greater than any I could cause with my bare hands. My secret? The spear. Oh. It's going to change life as we know it. May I draw your attention to the end of the stick where I have attached a sharp stone? It is my hypothesis that if I thrust the pointed end of this stick into a creature, it will pierce their flesh, guts, eyeballs, brains, anything really. Observe. A demonstration. Kiri? I'm ready. Wait, what? Mario! Oh, hey! Um, I was just about to show how it works. Yeah! yeah. Kiri. What? What, are you fucking nuts? <laughs> no. Do you have any idea what this would do to you? <sighs> no. <laughs> That's what we were going to find out before we were so rudely interrupted. Sazlo, shall we continue? Yes. <laughs> right. Wait, yeah. what? Yeah. Would you give me that? Oh. <gasps> Kiri. This will hurt you really bad. It is dangerous. Oh. <laughs> it is not dangerous. It's a weapon <laughs> for hunting. My new and improved method of food collection. Oh, oh. oh no, not this again. No, no, it'll work this time. I'll prove it to you. You see that big dumb mammoth over there? Oh. You mean Trunkel? She is the spirit of the river. I know this because I saw her standing by a river once. Oh. No, no. That's no spirit. That's the mammoth that killed my father. Ew, I hate him. We always knew this day would come, didn't we, Trunkel? The day that I threw my spear directly through your heart. Zazalil, you are making a big mistake. Oh, yeah? Does this look like a mistake? Damn it. Um, why didn't your spear work? Because she missed, Kiri. Uh, I knew that spear was too good to be true. Boo! Boo! Oh. I practiced a yeah, little. Uh, so you're not going to be practicing anything if you're done! No, no, no! I can't believe this shit! <gasps> Throwing things at me. <gasps> uh. Okay. If we're real quiet and we wait long enough, she'll get bored and then she'll go away. <sighs> Is she gone yet? Looks like it. Uh, uh, oh, 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 oh. Uh, uh. An elephant never forgets. <laughs> That is one smart elephant. And sassy. She's a great elephant. <laughs> okay, everyone, quick, back to the cave. Come on, go on, go on. Well, what if the mammoth is still there? She's not. Trunkel's not stupid. She knows what comes out at night. <laughs> but not you, apparently. Apparently, you are stupid. This little thing almost got us killed. Ouchie. Why did you touch it? I was curious. And you did a really good job. Thanks. <laughs> but guess what? It's banned. What? That's right. I forbid the spear forever. And I forbid any more of your bad ideas. They're banned too. Ouch. Why did you touch it again? <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I just wanted to make life better. Okay, shut up. 
Ooh. Hey, everybody. Remember me? Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, damn, Jay Mills. That was cold. Don't be mean to Lauren. <laughs> but before you go judging, you got to understand how dangerous the night is for us. I mean, first off, it is fucking dark. You could trip and hurt yourself. And it gets even worse than that if you can believe it. When the sun sets and the moon rises, he comes out to hunt. Snarl, the great devourer. He's a big fucking dinosaur. Ah! Oh! <laughs> nah, I'm bullshitting you. Uh, he's not a dinosaur. All the dinosaurs are dead. Except one. Snarl. <laughs> and he's my friend. No, I'm bullshitting you again, guys. I'm sorry. You can't trust me today. I'm feeling way too silly. But anyways. Snarl is fucking scary. He's so fucking scary. We wrote a whole fucking song all a fucking about it. When darkness comes and steals the light, we're left with no other choice. But to take cover in our cave For the night belongs to him To go out at night would be a mistake You would surely meet your demise We are safe for now, but the night belongs performing The Night Belongs to Snarl. Wow. 
killed it, man. You killed it. A song that he wrote about that which we fear above all things. Thank you, Smelly Balls. Thank you. I was inspired by Thank our many encounters. Thank you, Smelly account- Balls. Mm. Yep. There we go. Okay. Oh, my God. That was an awesome song. That was so cool. And, oh, my God. The, uh, yeah, that big face, like the angry eyes and all of that. That looked so wicked and so cool. Oh, all right, let's, let's get big. Yeah, the, uh, the Snarl song. Definitely my favorite, uh, my favorite track so far. That was, it was so good. It was so dark. It had such a great, like, like the, the chorus there. Oh, it was awesome. The whole everything getting dark. I am very, very much impressed with this show so far. Is again, very different from previous Star Kid, but super good in its own respect. Um, I love that Sleazeball is there as, like, the outsider. I really, really liked the song that him and, uh, uh, M, M, Emery, M, 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 Emily, that song, uh, I loved. I thought that song was so cute and just adorable. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna lie, my heart did break a little bit when, uh, oh, I forget, when, when What's-Her-Name took her hands down and she kind of became incredibly evident there that that wasn't her life's calling. She spent 27 years just holding up nothing. But that's okay. It frees herself up for so many more activities. She can get another passion. She can still mean something. I bet that she's going to be like the big hero at the end. I bet she's the one that kills Snarl. If Snarl is even a thing, I don't know. Maybe Snarl is another big giant myth started by our narrator that would be that would be interesting or if it is just something small you know like a little pig or something like that something that is easily killed by emma and her sharp spear pointy thing <laughs> i God, i really do feel bad for emma um i i understand where you know Jam- jamila is coming from uh, she's like, yep, nope, doesn't work. Everything is going fine right now. We don't need to, we don't need to rock the boat and try anything different. I get what she's where she's coming from there uh, in this world here, but I just feel so bad for Emma. I just want her to be recognized for her great ideas. Cause yeah, hunting. Uh, <laughs> how can this be dangerous? It's a weapon. <laughs> it's for <a> hunting. <laughs> Oh my god. Um, but yeah, I am really, really, really starting to uh to like this show a lot. And I, I do love Ahmed as the, the keeper of the duck. Uh, <laughs> no longer gets the dry spot in the cave every night. That's gonna be hard for him. I, I couldn't imagine going from sleeping where it's dry every night to puddles. I mean when puddles are all you know, that's one thing, but ah, uh, I feel for him. I feel bad for him. And it's not even like he was the one that, like, he was, like, the con man. He was just suckered into it by the narrator, the uh, the elder. <laughs> but, yeah, so far, absolutely killer. I love this show so much, and I am so excited to keep going. Uh, but, yeah, if you guys really liked it, uh, please let me know down in the comments. You know, like, comment, subscribe. Share with all your friends, all your Star Kid musical, loving friends, all that good stuff. Uh, But yeah, thank you so much, and I will see you in part three.